What's going on, guys? Chase, chasewins.com coming at you with some Sunday free play action. Obviously, we haven't been able to do a lot of free play videos this week, but I warned you of that last week, how this week was going to be crazy busy. Some traveling had to be done. A lot of things getting ready for some stuff that we've got coming up in the coming weeks and months that we're excited to share with you, handling some business stuff on the back end, just day-to-day -day operations that sometimes you just got to do so you're not able to do a free play video. But Hopefully coming into this week, you know, going, you know, into Monday and beyond, we'll be back to our normal everyday free play video. So that way you guys can get back to enjoying free play winners every single day. But congratulations to all of our clients this week on winning day after winning day after winning day. Obviously last Sunday, clean 7-0 sweep across the board, 5-0 uh, in Major League Baseball that day, 1-0 in National Hockey League, 1-0 in NBA. Jump over into Monday. Jerry kicks off another week of soccer going, what is it, 6-2-1 and one for the entire week going into Sunday. So congratulations to all of the soccer clients there on a huge week. Uh, MLB, we had a 2-1 and one day, a 3-1 and one day with a top play winner. Or excuse me, a 2 and one day with a top play winner, a 3 and one premium day, a 1-0 and premium day, a 1-1 and Thursday in Major League Baseball, and a 5-2 and Friday with also a top play winner mixed into that. And the sad thing was, out of those seven picks, 5-2, and two, we were only two base hits shy of it being another clean 7-0 and o sweep. But... It happens. We'll, we'll obviously gladly take the five and two day with a top play winner. And we did not have any NBA or NHL going on there. But going into Saturday, it's Saturday night now. We've got games going on as we speak. We've already had uh, a few games already start or you know, a few games already getting ready to end. Two of them have officially, or one of them has officially ended. The second game, we had two plays in it. One of them we've already cashed. We cashed the New York Yankees on the run line. That was an easy one. We also cashed the over in the San Francisco Giants-Pittsburgh Pirates game. Now, that game is still ongoing, and we have a play in the side of that game. So, still a couple of innings left. We won't know the outcome of that one just yet. And then, obviously, we've got a few games that have just started or are still ongoing. Jerry went 1-0 and in soccer for Saturday. So, overall, looks like it's going to be a good day. We'll uh, do the full-blown recap on Monday on Monday's free play video um, when we recap Sunday and NASCAR and all that. For Sunday, first and foremost and most important, Jerry, the soccer goat, he has a game of the week in soccer. People have been emailing us, DMing us on Twitter, I mean left and right all week long, asking if I or Jerry, either one of us would have a game of the week or game of the month being released this week. Well, of course, guys, it's not like we we can tell you a week in advance. Yes, we have games that we're looking at a lot of times anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks out, but you can't make a final decision until you have lines that are posted. You can't make a final decision until you know what the, the lineups are going to look like, you know, and you just evaluate all the information. So we can never say for sure. We always hope to have something like that that we can release, but we'll never know until all the information's out. It's been evaluated and we've locked it in. So, of course, we didn't know. Going into this morning, Jerry was all but certain he was going to have one right around lunchtime. He was like, all right, we're going to lock it in. Let me pull some more information, send all the information over. We get it all posted. And then, of course, we released it this afternoon to all of our all-access clients. And we sent out email blasts and Twitter and all that, letting everybody know. Didn't have time to quite do a free play video at that time. But I'm getting this one up to let, it, to let you know there is a soccer game of the week for Sunday. Now, what you must know, pay close attention. It is a Sunday morning game. And when I mean morning, I mean early morning. We are going to be pulling this play link down at 6 to 6.30 a.m. It's an early game, so you need to go to the website right now, chasewins.com, hit the purchase tab. It'll be the first thing you see. First one in line. It says Jerry's Soccer Game of the Week. Click that, make your purchase, and as soon as you do, as soon as you've completed your purchase, you can log in, go to your members page, Click the soccer game of the week, and boom, you have instant access to the play. Do that tonight before you go to bed and go ahead and get your wager in. Because I don't think you want to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to have to worry about doing that. What you want to do, 
It's Sunday. Sleep in a little bit, relax, and wake up Sunday morning with a huge win already in the bag and a ton of profits you're already sitting on. And the rest of the day, you can play with house money and a ton of profit. So go get the soccer game of the week, guys. It's 50 bucks. You, 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 you must win. Win or get three days of all plays in all sports absolutely free. What else do we have going on for Sunday? You can get the Sunday All Sports Pass, $25. Get you any premium and daily top plays in NHL, in soccer, Soccer and NBA and MLB, everything for Sunday, $25. You don't want to miss out on that. On top of that, again, if anybody doesn't know, go back and watch our video from the beginning of the week where we recap NASCAR, the sixth straight race where Patrick not only crushed his head to head picks. He also crushed his first game of the week pick in NASCAR for the season, but he predicted his sixth straight outright race winner. And this time it was Martin Truex Jr. It was eight to one odds plus 800, 56 units of profit in the last six races alone. It's usually $50 for a race card. You can get the full race card for Sunday for 30 bucks, or you can get the rest of the season, which is 25 races. For $250. Speaking of that, on top of that, you definitely want to get on the all-day pass. You want to get on the game of the week. You want to get on NASCAR for sure, but then you want to get on the NHL postseason and Stanley Cup playoff pass. Uh, guys, the Stanley Cup playoffs and the Stanley Cup finals, that's a long, drawn-out playoff system. You're going to get roughly three months of playoff action in NHL. It started actually on Saturday. The first actual postseason game started on Saturday. We didn't have a play in it, but you've got postseason games running tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Running through next week, you've got the first and second games of your first round of tournaments. This stuff runs and through early and early to mid July. It will be early to mid July before someone is crowned a Stanley Cup champion. So think about that. Everybody knows the winning that I do in soccer. Everybody knows the amount of profit you will make, the winning percentages that we have. Just imagine getting every single premium and daily top play selection in NHL for the next three months for $250. Guys, to buy a three-day NHL pass is 50 bucks. Three days. You're going to get three months for 250 bucks. So make sure while you're there, you jump on that and you don't miss out on any of our playoff action. But those are what we've got going on for Sunday. That allows you to go to the website, pick out a handful of packages. You won't be spending much money at all, and you'll be getting not only a ton of action for Sunday across a ton of different sports, you'll be getting a game of the week and you'll be getting three months of hockey included in all that as well. So think about that, guys. All of those packages are in order, just like I set them on the website under the purchase tab. Let's get on a free play. Major League Baseball, Kansas City Royals at the Chicago White Sox. Singer's going in for Kansas City. I, and as I've said about Singer multiple times this year, We've done multiple videos where I have discussed him in detail. A lot of people have not just high hopes, they have a lot of faith in this kid. And it's not that I think he's a bad pitcher, that he won't come around, that he won't end up having a decent career. But he's not there yet. And it's not something where he's just trying to work out of a slump where three weeks from now it's going to be different. He wasn't great in 2020. Yeah, obviously a short year. You go back to 2019, whatever you want to do, he hasn't gotten where he needs to be yet, and I don't foresee it coming in 2021. Right now, he's sitting just above a 5 ERA. His whip's not overall you know, terrible, I guess you could say. It's about a 1.3. But if you look at the innings pitched, you look at the strikeout ratio, you look at the ratio that he gives up the long ball, and what I consider an evaluate a long ball is not just a home run. It's if you get you know, a double or anything above, double, triple, home run, anything like that. That's what I consider to be the long ball because it allows you to get extra bases. It allows you to advance. It allows you to score, you know, not only a run for yourself, but multiple runs. It allows you to collect those RBIs. And in that regard, his ratio and everything is well below league average for 
any of your starting top three or four in your pitching rotation. Kansas City is a team that I have a lot of faith in, and I have a lot of high hopes for over the next three years. I've stated, and I'm not shy about it, that I say that within the next five years, Kansas City will not only compete for, but will win another World Series. And they will do it under Mike Matheny. They will do it with Whit Merrifield. They will do it with this great core group of guys. Excuse me. They will do it with this great core group of young guys that they've brought in. They've continued to develop through their through, through their very, very thorough farm system. And I think that it's going to do nothing but continue to pay off and build them year after year. And I really think that it's only going to go up. I think by the end of this season that people are going to look back and go, holy shit. This was not what we expected out of Kansas City because they are not going to be sitting dead last in Major League Baseball. They're not going to be sitting in the bottom three. I don't think they're going to be sitting in the bottom five. Truth be told, I don't think they're sitting in the bottom ten. I think Kansas City is not only surprised people to this point, but while as most people think that it's just an early season fluke, I think they'll continue to improve, continue to surprise people, and continue to make adjustments and do things they need to do to continue to advance improve and get better. But going in on Sunday against a team that has just owned you in your division in recent years, and keep in mind, everybody knows what I've said about the White Sox for the last three years, that this year would be, I mean, back in 2018, I called out actually 2020, but 2020 was a fluke because of the year. But by 2021, you'd look at a team that was not just a postseason team, that was a potential World Series contender in the American League. Nobody believed me, and here they are. Now people are like, oh, you know, we see with the talent that the White Sox could actually do this if the stars align in certain ways for them. The, but even going back to after the Kansas City Royals won the World Series, and then you know people like Zobrist, you know they leave, they have people retire, and everything gets depleted, and they have to go through rebuilding, and they haven't been you know good since then. Even as bad as the White Sox were in many of those years. Go back and look at what's happened since 2015. The White Sox have just, they haven't just somewhat owned them. They have made Kansas City their bitch. Sorry, you know, sorry, but that's just, it is what it is. Kansas City was able to pull one of their doubleheaders, uh, win one of the doubleheader games on Friday, back in game one. We had game two, we had the White Sox in that one on the run line at plus $1.25. Pretty easy win there. As of right now, we don't know what's going to take place in the White Sox-Royals game tonight that's going on right now, but the Royals are out playing them so far, and I think it's going to be difficult for the White Sox to come back unless they can have one or two really explosive offensive innings. But I think that sets it up even better. I like the White Sox no matter what happens tonight, but if they lose on Saturday, which it looks like that may very well be the case, I like it even more going into Sunday with the White Sox not wanting to, uh, to <clears throat> well, they would split the series. If they lose tomorrow, they're going to outright lose the series. They, they have the chance if they lose tonight to still split the series, still save some of that pride a little bit, not have to tuck their tail. And right now, if you look at what the bullpens have done, unless Chicago makes a really bad move tonight, they've got by and large, the better starting pitcher going in tomorrow. And they'll also be set up to have the be much better middle reliever. And they'll also be set up to have two closers that are by and large better. I do not think that they will have to go to the bottom end of their bullpen tomorrow. Not unless everybody comes in and does poorly. Right now, Kansas City should already be on the back end of their bullpen by the end of the game tonight. Whether they win or lose, eventually they're going to have to start the back end of that bullpen. I don't think Singer gets out of the fourth inning tomorrow. And then it's all the bottom end of that bullpen for Sunday to close out the week. They're not going to play any short rest guys and risk going out there and screwing the pooch for games they could win next week. They're not going to do it because they already know if they win tonight, they can't lose this series despite what happens tomorrow. That the worst that they can do is split the series. And based on the history of these two teams over recent years, 
a split is a world, you know, is a is worlds better than what Kansas City has typically been able to do against Chicago. Right now, we're getting great value on this game at being able to take Chicago at minus a dollar forty-five. You may be getting it right around a dollar fifty. Either way, this game on the money line under a dollar sixty, I think, is a gift. I think it's generous, and I think there's a lot of value there. So we're going to take the Chicago White Sox on Sunday at minus $1.45 on the money line, and that's your free premium play. If you're getting it a little higher, I'm okay all the way up to $1.60. If you're getting it above $1.60, evaluate it, play smart, um, check the run line if you need to. If you're getting value with the run line, you can play that. But if you're if you're still laying negative money, if you're still laying negative money, and the lines, let's say, at 165, I would just lay the extra there and not have to lay the run line and still lay juice. You guys know how I roll. 160 is the max. Go get it in right now. That way you can get it at 160 or below. Right now, current line at Bovada, Circa, and William Hill Vegas is 145 to 150. William Hill has 145. That's what we're rolling with. Chicago White Sox money line minus $1.45 Sunday. Go get on the game of the week. 50 bucks winner. Get three days of all plays and all sports free. Jump on the NHL postseason pass. The Sunday all sports premium and daily top play pass. Jump on the NASCAR card and let's go out there and make you more profit in one day than any other service would be able to make you for the rest of the month. Love you guys, and we'll see you in the winner's circle.